Hello friends, I'm Tom Downey. Alongside me is Harris Rubenstein, still live with our NBA trade deadline wrap-up. So let's take a look now. With the trades over, the buyout market. Always important, always key for players, and I feel like more and more prevalent as we go further along because of the way contracts work out. There are some players, they are way too expensive to be traded for, but they end up getting cut and they can make an impact for players. Look at, for a team, look at some of these guys here who are going to be buyout options. One guy, Wesley Matthews, He's going to go to the Pacers. That's pretty much set in stone. He's been cut. The Pacers are going to sign him there. Gives them an extra scoring boost. Remember, they lost Victor Oladipo. I like this move for the Pacers here. I do, too. And it's good for Wesley Matthews also to go from a team in the Knicks with also the Mavs where he wasn't going to get too much playing time. Good for, he's probably going to start for the Pacers. Mm -hmm. So it's good for them to get a little help with the backcourt. The big one then, Carmelo Anthony. Could he LOL. join the L.A. Lakers? Remember, the Lakers had interest in Melo provided they had a roster spot available. Up until today, they did not have one. They didn't want to cut anybody who was a guaranteed contract. Then they make a two-for-one for Mike Muscala. Now there's a roster spot open, and the buzz is L.A. will at least strongly consider bringing in Carmelo Anthony. It'll be different this time, Harris. It'll be different. If, if the Lakers really traded away Vika Zubak and Michael Beasley to, uh, like, if their intention was to open up a roster spot to sign Carmelo Anthony, then they are the biggest losers of the deadline. That is unacceptable. I'm sorry. I'm not, like, I've been titled as a mellow hater on YouTube. I'm not. I loved Carmelo Anthony. He was one of my favorite players growing up. He is not that guy anymore. He is not. I'm sorry. He is not good anymore. And if you really think that adding Melo to the Lakers, regardless of his friendship with LeBron, is a good move? I, I, I question your basketball knowledge. What does he bring to the table for the Lakers that Ivica Zubak would not? Uh, three drama? Point, drama. Three-point shooting. Like, really? Inefficient ch chucking from deep. Really. Rob Palenka and Magic Johnson, since getting LeBron, this is a list of the players that they've acquired. Rajon Rondo, Lance Stevenson, Michael Beasley, JaVale McGee, Tyson Chandler, and will end up being Carmelo Anthony and Mike Muscala. That is garbage. That is awful. That is not good. That is bad team management. Bad. B-A-D. Magic Johnson, look, I get it. He is a nice dude. He is a great player. He's been an awful executive so far. Awful. And we said this during our trade deadline show. The first round picks that they traded away because they were so much trouble. Julius Randle, D'Angelo Russell. Russell's an all-star this year. Julius Randle was borderline. Kind of Those guys are get gone. Traded, by the way, today. Huh? I thought he could get traded, too. Yeah, I Randall. thought he would, too. Didn't, didn't get dealt. You know what's crazy about Randall? The Pelicans signed him for nothing. He'd be the second best player in the Lakers' whole team right now. But they didn't want to keep him because too much trouble. I'm sorry. Question the front office. Do not question Luke Walton. Luke Walton has been given such a crap hand in this situation. The Knicks, meanwhile, we mentioned Wes Matthews. They're also going to cut cancer. That's not a huge surprise there again. He's owed at 19 million. No one wants that contract. And the Knicks aren't going to take back money to make it happen. He'll be released. I figure a contending team will go at him there. Yeah, most likely. The Celtics were an option. There's a couple of the teams out there. I mean, I actually would love to see him back on the Thunder, but that's not going to happen. Uh, the, the Celtics are definitely an option. There's a couple of teams out there. I could see the Pacers also making a run at him as well. But can't will be a great asset for someone in terms of rebounding and offense off the bench. Still can't play defense, but he's a good locker room guy who deserves a chance to contend for a title. I think he'll end up with a good team. One guy that it sounds like won't actually be bought out is J.R. Smith. Unable to trade him, has the rest of this year and next year left on his contract. The report from Cleveland.com is that he is not going to buy out. The Cavs are not going to buy out J.R. Smith. So he's just going to be stuck in purgatory in Cleveland. I want to review one quick thing today with you, Tom. Okay. The this Celtics like a trap, today okay. were able to trade a convicted domestic abuser mm -hmm. to the Atlanta Hawks, along with a second-round pick and cash for nothing. You're telling me the Cavs couldn't trade J.R. Smith? Really? Well, really? I'll counter. Come on. I'll counter because Jabari Birds doesn't have a big contract. You could trade him for peanuts. Attach a, attach two second round picks. See, I'm attach not attaching the, picks. Attach the Houston pick to him. I'm not attaching picks because I need those picks. I need to get players on my roster that aren't terrible. No, it makes sense. So you could have done it. 
but I'm not doing it at the cost of attaching picks. That makes sense. But I also just don't understand why the Cavs were not able to trade him to anyone. And now they won't. They, now they won't even buy him out. Mm-hmm. Uh, look, if they want to sit on no, the rest I, of his I would, contract, yeah. If they want to sit on the rest of his contract, so be it. You know, again, I will give the Cavs a slight benefit of the doubt because Kobe Altman's done a good job this year. But they should trade J.R. Smith this summer. They yes. cannot sit on his contract I agree for another full year. I agree. That's what you also, do it because it comes with expiring. That's also a real. Excuse my, my my language. That's a real asshole move to J.R. Smith. Also, yeah. the dude comes to town, helps you win an NBA Finals, helps you get back, uh, helps you get to four NBA Finals. You don't let him play for two whole seasons. That's crap. It's that's a, a real Shumpert crap move right situation. There. I don't know. That's just that's just a really bad way to treat a guy who helped you win a title. It's just un- that's just bad. All right, some other possible buyout options: Marcin Gortat, Zebo could be moved, and he hadn't played much at all this year, but. Maybe a team looking for some veteran help brings him in. Maybe the Raptors? Raptors for, like, all these because they have no bench right well, they, now. Yeah, they really – I mean, look, they just got rid of Greg Monroe, so maybe Zach Randolph is a guy that they could come in. I mean, Jeremy multiple teams Lin on the East. could be an option. Jeremy Lin could be an option. Multiple teams in the East now do have an open roster spot with these couple of trades. The Bucks have one. So do the 76ers and the Celtics and the Raptors. So someone's going to get picked up here. Uh, Wayne Ellington is going to draw a ton of buzz. I believe the Pistons were among the team interested in him. Is, is that right, Harris? Pistons were among the teams. And also, I want to go through really quickly the – uh, title odds after the NBA trade deadline. The Celtics, the 76ers, the Raptors, and the Bucks are all tied at 10 to 1 odds. Okay. So this just kind of shows you that when we get to the playoffs, it could just be the smallest move that ends up making the difference. And I wonder if one of these possible buyout guys could end up being that difference. Some other buyout options here. Robin Lopez sounds like he's on his way out. I think the Warriors could look for another center, a backup big as well, that it could be an option there. Dwayne Dedman, I don't know if he wants to go play with Curry. There's been some issues there in the past. Frank Kaminsky? Wasn't that Boston that, that wanted to give like a bunch of firsts for Frank first Kaminsky? Four first-round picks for the no, the pick that the Hornets used to take Frank Kaminsky. Okay. The Celtics were going to take Justice Winslow. Oh. So go. Boston really won that one, huh? Yeah. Okay. And then Milos Teodosic, the uh, the Clippers point guard, the old veteran, could be a, a buyout option I would as well. love to see Milos Teodosic go to the Suns. I would love to see them That's get like, a real That's legitimate point guard in there next to Devin Booker. That's but they won't because it's the Suns. It's a good fit as well. So, guys, so type, type S in the comment section if you have already subscribed. We do all kinds of NBA coverage. It's YouTube.com slash ChatSportsTV. That's the link if you guys are like on Facebook. If you're watching on YouTube, we'll just hit that subscribe button. I hope it'll take you right to that page there. All of our great coverage, NBA plus NFL, and all kinds of stuff this offseason. So go subscribe right now, youtube.com slash chatsportstv.